It's big news that CSX will build its cargo hub in Edgecombe County isn't the only thing happening in Rocky Mount, and it's a success story that some other smaller cities might envy. Our Russ Bowen joins us with a look at how they're just doing that. Well, guys, Rocky Mount has been recognized by the National Main Street Center, which is part of the National Trust for Historic Preservation and for having a great Main Street in the making. And it is not hard to see why. These old tracks have seen a lot, and like the ebb and flow of music, the birthplace of jazz musician Thelonious Monk hasn't been immune to the ups and downs of the economy. And if you listen closely, you'll hear a sound that's been here since the 1950s. As a young child, I remember working with my dad, and you know, business was booming. We had people coming in all the time. Or Traffic was on the street, people walking down the street. As times changed and many merchants left, the bachelor family business kept going. The old school name called the shoe repair or just Gale. <laughs> the love of downtown Rocky Mount and faithful clients kept Gale here. And that attitude became progress as Kimberly Thigpen took a big chance and started a new downtown business. The revitalization project was so attractive. And then the cost of doing business was almost irresistible. It was, it was delicious. Like It's almost like you cannot pass that up. Four years later, the former bank analyst is running a booming soap business that spread to web sales and a shelf at Whole Foods. It was the chance the city was willing to take on budding entrepreneurs and the upgrades to this historic building that made the difference between downtown and somewhere else. The kind of support that we have here was a like a critical part of my decision. Yes, the Great Recession hit here, but it could have been far worse. We're very fortunate that we didn't decline. Um, while we may not have gone forward, we just kind of maintained the status quo and that's what we're seeing now on the back end is this last two years that development start, starting to surge forward outside of downtown another sign of progress is the renovation and upgrade of the Rocky Mount Mills into a mixed-use facility well it's actually fairly rapid a lot more rapid than I expected uh, and it started downtown fortunately yeah you know, I think it's driven by the young professionals moving to the area who want a, a vibrant downtown a vibrant center city something Kimberly Thigpen welcomes and coming in now I can say four years later is different than it would have been coming in four years ago. The high noon. Gail believes will only get higher. As long as people keep a positive attitude about the downtown area, I feel like it will grow. And there are a number of other new projects that Rocky Mount hopes to complete, including a new downtown community facility that will seat 4,500 people and have eight basketball courts. Guys?